Welcome to Dell Technologies Data Domain How-To Series. How to Resolve Space Usage in Data Collection. Reference Dell Knowledge Base Article Number 68028. This video was created to demonstrate the steps that need to be taken when Data Domain reports the space usage in slash data slash call one, or data collection is 90 to 100% full. Let us look at the causes of the issue. Backups are not getting expired and the DD contains a lot of old files. DD contains a huge amount of small files. DD is a source of collection replication. M tree snapshots are holding data. A huge replication lag causing the data not to be cleaned up during cleaning. User has ingested data into the DD at its maximum level. Let's begin. Log into data domain command line. Run the command df to check if there is a huge amount of cleanable size. If there is, start a manual cleaning to reclaim the space using the command file sys clean start. Use the command file sys clean watch to monitor the progress of the cleaning process. And then obtain a latest auto support log file from data domain to troubleshoot further. In order to download the auto supports, log into data domain system manager. Navigate to Maintenance. Click on Support. Click on Auto Support Reports. Click on File Name to sort that column. You can find 14 auto support files at any given time. Auto Support.13 is the oldest, while the Auto Support is the newest file. Click on Auto Support and download the file. Once you have the auto support file downloaded, open it in a notepad and search for file distribution. If files older than the duration set in the current retention policy are found in the DDR, check on the backup software end as the files are not expiring as per policy. If the policy was recently changed, then there may be old or unwanted files which are ingested with old retention policy. Expire the old backups manually from the backup software. The data domain file system is designed in such a way that it keeps the data in a 4.5 megabits container when it is being written to the DD. A small file, which is less than 10 megabytes size, may consume more space than its actual space. Hence impacting if DD is getting a huge amount of space regularly. If you find a lot of small files in the histogram of the small files present in file distribution, it is recommended to set up the backup procedure so that the small files are ingested rarely and change backup methodology to include all small files into a single larger archive, such as a TAR or GZ file, before writing them to the DDR. Please note if the DD is a source of collection replication, then the destination should be of equal size as that of the source. Next, check if the replication is configured in the DD by running command replication show config. Use the command snapshot list mtree slash data call one mtree name to check if there are any old unexpired or expired snapshots which are holding data. If any old snapshots are found which are still there and holding data, check if these can be expired. Run the command snapshot expire snapshot name m tree slash data call one m tree name. In this example, we are expiring snapshot s1 from the m tree arbo one source. You can see the snapshot S1 is now in expired state. Now, start and stop cleaning to remove these expired snapshots.
Verify if the snapshots are not there for those M trees for which snapshots were just expired using the snapshot list command. Also, in case of a directory replication configuration, if there is a huge replication lag, then break the pair and start the cleaning to claim the space in DD. When complete, resync the replication again. If these causes do not seem to be happening in your case, then the space in the DD is full at its maximum capacity and you need to add more storage into the DD. Use the command storage show all to check the storage configuration of your DD. Check the current active tier size and the maximum capacity your data domain active tier can go up to. In this example, this DD is licensed for 261.9 TIB of active tier storage and utilized 65.4 TIB. But, it can be extended up to 392.9 TIB by buying additional license capacity and storage devices with the help of the sales team. Thank you for watching.